Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of the Gearblox tutorial series. As always, be sure to watch the previous episodes first if you haven't already. So far we've only been using the Builder tool. This time we'll explore a couple of other tools in the game, the Material tool and Painter tool. But first let's talk about the materials of spawned parts. So far when we've spawned a beam or a plate, they've been made of plastic material. If you look in the Builder tool UI, you'll see that some parts have this material icon, whereas others don't. The part with this icon can have its material swapped. And when you spawn a part with a swappable material, it uses the currently selected material in the Material tool. So now we need to introduce the Material tool. We can select it by pressing 2. And bringing up the tool UI, we can see the materials available in the demo. We have plastic, steel and wood. And you'll notice that the tool display screen shows the currently selected material. To swap a material in a part, we can just highlight it and left click. Like that. We could try switching to a different material. Now currently we have the wood material selected. If we highlight this part, which is made out of steel, we can hold down left alt and left click to sample that material and now we have steel selected and we can apply it to this part over here. As I mentioned, parts with swappable materials use the currently selected material in the material tool when you spawn them. So currently that's steel and so if I spawn a plate we get a steel plate if I select wood, you get a wood plate like that. Okay. Next let's have a look at material densities. So materials not only affect the appearance of parts, but also their weight, because materials have different densities. And you can see this if we hover over a material in the UI, you can see the tooltip shows the density of each material. I have a balance beam over here to demonstrate this with a pivot in the center and two equally sized beams on each end, both made of wood, so right now it's perfectly balanced. If I switch one of the beams to plastic, which is less dense than wood, it becomes lighter and the beam tips over. Or I could switch it to steel, which is more dense to wood, and so it'll tip over in the other direction. Here's our trolley from the previous episode. We can change the frame over to steel, for example, and maybe change the plate to wood like that. Okay, so last of all, let's introduce the painter tool. We can select it by pressing 4, and if we bring up the tool UI, we can see a palette of colors. In the full version of the game, you can fine-tune the colors with these RGB and HSV sliders. But in the demo, we just have these, these pre-made uh, colors in the, in the palette here. Now notice if you go back to the Builder Tool UI, you'll see that some of the parts have this color icon, whereas some of the other ones don't. Those that do are paintable and they can have their color changed. Also, if you have a look at the Material Tool UI, you'll see that the materials also have this color icon. In the full version of the game, there are some materials that aren't paintable, but in the demo, they are all paintable. But anyway, let's switch back to the Painter tool. If we select a color, you'll see it shows in the Tool Display screen, and we can apply it to a part. So we just highlight it and left-click, much like we do with the Material tool. Let's say if we change the uh, color of this wheel to something else and we decide we want it to match all the other wheels. The easy way to do this is to just highlight one of the other wheels, hold down left alt and left click to sample that paint color in much the same way we do with the uh, material tool and then we can just apply it to that wheel there. If we paint a part then decide we don't want it painted anymore we can just ho uh, highlight the part and uh, right click to remove the paint like that. 
Okay then, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.